So Tom, Dave, and I are going to ride Ashland North. I haven't ridden in a while, probably a couple years. So we'll see what we find up here. I'm not a big fan of the entrance because you can't ever find it and there's no sign. You have to just sort of dive up an alley. I guess it's officially a street, but it's not wider than an alley. So, obviously this was paved at one time when, when this was an active street or when it was an active coal mine. I wanted to come up and inspect this corner and see what the climb looks like. Not so bad. Of course, I say that and then can't manage to uh, get started on the hill. But they've clearly graded this and uh, it made it a lot. Um, easier to climb up this. It used to be pretty steep and full of gullies. Now it's a pretty normal trail. You see a lot of logging trees down on the side. It's been so long I have no idea where these trails go, so we're just going to pick this one. Go up past the FRO sign. It's a little bit rocky. There goes Tom. I went a little left of you and got into the mud more. Oh, okay. Your call was better. Oh. Yeah, I went in between you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Pat. No, mine was not good. <laughs> Big rocks off there on the left. And this, this Ashland anticline is apparently a big geologic feature. Next time we come here, I'm going to make it a point to um, visit it directly. We just drove past it, and I found out about it after we were coming along. This trail is basically golf ball-sized rocks and some tennis ball-sized rocks with a few bigger rocks. So, anybody have any idea where we are? Never been here. Me neither. 
Nope. I think I see rocks. <laughs> uh, rocks for Wally, huh? Yeah. Serious rocks for Wally. It's a little warmer than I expected. Yeah, it's just get up to 85. Yeah. The problem with the little rocks is they're small and they're rolling around, so they kind of act like marbles. Definitely rocks for Wally. The bigger rocks are stuck in the ground, so it gives you a little traction while you bounce around. So the GPS says it's 75 degrees, so beautiful day, brilliant sky, lots of cool, cool color in the leaves. The video camera doesn't, doesn't show you the true feeling of the rocks, they're, they're pretty seriously bouncing us around. Probably could go faster if my brain would let me, but nope. It thinks this is fast enough. We'll look down the valley a little bit. So which way do we want to go? Let's go up. Yeah. Okay. It looks less rocky if that's possible. No. <laughs> This is wearing me out. <laughs> so I see this big shale uh, section. Thought maybe it'd be smoother than the trails, but it's pretty badly off camber. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. So there goes Tom. And here comes Dave. They're both on beta 300s. As usual, the camera flattens everything out. This is a substantial downhill with rocks. And I can believe the 14, 15% grade. Now we're flattening out as we're getting close to the pavement section. Let's turn right and go down the pavement a bit and see what we see. Oh, that's a huge mine. A huge mine. So this is Big Mine Run Road. We're just going to take it as a 
transit section down for a little bit. Okay, this takes us back to the trailhead, and this takes us across to another section. Cool. Okay. Up to the left, there's a giant uh, coal rubble pile. They might even be actively mining that area. Lots of, of logging going on, so we're just going to stay off the active haul road and take this trail, which clearly used to be a haul road, or a logging road. We're heading east. You see that shale cut up on the hill? Yeah. I think I've ridden up there. Yeah. Don't know how to get there. We popped off a trail and ended up down in a little subdevelopment. Um, so we're going to turn back, go back up to the trail, pass an official FRO sign. We'd like to find some trails that are smaller than haul roads, but um, at least civilized. Hall roads are really not that much fun. It is 81 degrees, which is definitely warming up. Much warmer than I had planned or prepared for. There's a bunch of areas that they clearly logged that have a lot of litter. Um, small branches and logs, limbs, typically an inch or two, sometimes three inches in diameter, just cluttering up the trail. We'd gone down a dead end and Tom explored for some alternate ways, but we're just backtracking, so I'm climbing up the way we came. In 84 and in the sun it felt a lot hotter, so it's good to be rolling and getting some wind blowing across. Once you get around this craft, it's uh, pretty smooth. 
I don't know what it does at the bottom of the hill. I can go check it out. Yeah, let's just go this way. Such a beautiful day. A little warmer than you expect for a fall day, but great colors and sky and all that. This looks to be some sort of log processing machine. Really just a fifth wheel kind of setup. I decided to take the pavement back into town to the trailhead keep the speed up. There's the turn. Yeah, this is the little alley that you have to use for the entrance. And up here, two blocks in, there's finally a FRO sign. You would not want to bring a big um, you know, two axle trailer up this this little road. And here we are at the end. Short but but kind of fun.